everybody, Kelly here. It's once again Tuesday, and today is my day. This week's topic is long distance relationships. Um, I would have to agree with Robin um, that long distance relationships do not tend to work out. I personally, in the past relationships, I've had two long distance relationships, and they both haven't lasted more than like maybe a month, and it just sucks because you can't you can't see them, you can't be with them, you can't do, you know, it just sucks because you're not around them as much as you wish you could have. I mean, if people out there have had long distance relationships and it works for you, hey, that's cool. I mean, I just don't think I'd be able to do it. Like Robin said, I wouldn't be able to do it and it's just not for me. But, um, but yeah, I mean, good luck to you if you have a long distance relationship, um, cause props to you, I can't do it. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, just to be able to have a long distance relationship, you have to be faithful and, um, I mean, define long distance relationship. You have, you know, if it's maybe like an hour away, that's doable. You could probably drive there. Um, I mean, gas, granted, it's gone down in pricing. It's like, I think I saw gas today for a dollar and I think 67 cents or some, something like that. But um, gas has definitely gone down, and you could probably, or not gas, uh, gas pricing has gone down, and you could probably definitely uh, be able to drive there if it's like an hour or, you know, maybe two. But if you live like, you know, one person lives here and the other person lives there across the, you know, the world, um, I don't think that really, you know, can work out. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of hard. But, I mean, yeah, if you can do it, do it. I can't. So, um, that's my opinion about long distance relationships is that, you know, it's hard to do and you just, you know, if you, you know, if you have the patience to wait to see the person whenever you do, um, good job because I definitely don't have patience. <laughs> patience is not one of my virtues at all. I would tell you this. I, you know, uploading videos takes freaking forever. I cannot deal with it. It takes too freaking long. And then I get to the point where I'm about to lose my mind. But, um, that's, you know, you know, 20 minutes or something like that. But like having patience to wait to go see somebody, you know, a year or something like that. If you live like, you know, on the other side of the world and another person lives on the other side of the world, I don't think I'd be able to handle that. So, but yep. So if you have a long distance relationship, good job. I, you know, I can't do it. So, okay. Now on to the other part of um, this week's topic. Well, questions now. We have three questions, and here's the first one. Whoa. Uh. Okay, whoa. Uh, uh. Okay, whoa. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Check it. Check it. Not in any particular order, but um, first one would have to be hands down the Veronicas. Awesome, amazing. Love them. They're great. And I saw them in concert. Um, about a couple months ago, and it was just amazing. Best concert in the entire world I have ever been to. I got to meet them, which was even better. I loved it. Um, so yeah, Veronica's definitely hands down number one. Um, number two would have to be um, Uh Huh Her. I like them. Uh, I mean, Leisha Haley or Hadley, or you know, girl from L, you know the L word, you know Alice. She is. Um, a singer with this other girl, I you know can't remember her name off the top of my head right now because you know my brain's kind of fried from work. Their group, they have you know their voices together are really good. Um, I will post up a video of theirs that I like from one of their songs over there, and check it out. Let me know what you think. If you haven't heard of them, definitely you know get their CD because it's pretty cool. Number three would have to be. Um, recently the cab I like the cab they're pretty good I like their voice they kind of sound like panic at disco meets you know fallout boy or something like that but the cab's pretty good they're new to me um, I think number four um, so this is tough because my I my you know favorite artist music and stuff changes nonstop because I have too many but um, I would have to say number four would be um, I don't know. It's so hard. I probably have to say, I'm like looking at my list right now of just music because it's playing. Um, 
I like Flyleaf. Flyleaf is pretty good. I like their music. Um, especially the song um, All Around Me. Pretty good song. They're a pretty good group. And then number five, I would have to say I like... Um, let's see. Oh, major favorite group so far, Paramore. Love their music, especially Decode. Great song. Love it. They're great. I love, um, oh, I, of course I can't remember her name either, the main singer. Um, something like Haley or something like that, but she's really good. Love her voice. So, um, yeah, those are my five favorite groups, you know, of the week. Because my, you know, my favorite groups, music, artists, stuff changes nonstop, but... I would have to always have to say, my number one will always be the Veronicas. <laughs> when the Earth Stood Still. And it's the one that's got, it's got Keanu Reeves in it. And it's okay. It's not the greatest movie. I just, you know, I sat there and I just didn't get into it. I actually started falling asleep during the movie. Um... Next worst movie would have to be The Happening. That's the one with Marky Mark. Um, I, you know, it's M. Night Shalom's movie. I didn't, I like most of his movies, but this movie was just stupid. I'm not going to say anything like, you know, what the movie's about and ending and stuff like that, but it's just, you sit there and watch it, and it's kind of just, the ending's like, okay, so, you serious? That's what it pretty much is. Um, so yeah, and then probably my third worst one would have to be, um, Don't Mess With The Zohan. I love Adam Sandler, but seriously, this movie was just insanely stupid. I didn't like it. So those are my worst. My best would have to be, um, no, no particular order either. Um, actually it's a tie between Dark Knight and, um, Iron Man for like action-ish. Um, I really love both movies. They're really good. Um, I also loved the movie Wally. -E. I loved it. The little character. He's so cute. I mean, come on. How can you not think that's cute? I've decided to put together like a little clippage of like favorite quotes from different movies, TV shows, and whatnot. But um, my personal favorite quote that I like to say and go by is "Live, laugh, and love." My favorite. So, um, so here's the clips of all my favorite movies and TVs and whatnot of quotes. Hope you enjoy. Shay. Say Stacy Merkin's a fucking cunt. Okay, you know Stacey what? Stacy Merkin's a fucking cunt. No, you know what? He's not gonna say it. Come on. Have a Stay great it. day, Jenny. Stacy Merkin's a fucking cunt. Hurry up. Okay, come on, let's go. Oh god, I'm what? stuck! Go without me! Leave me behind! It's okay! Save yourself! Seriously, a circle? Faith in the circle. You're not coming on to me because I'm really not in the mood. Relax. If I was gonna jump you, I kiss you. Like me, Quera, not a few glass Barbie on Earth. Oh, really? What's gonna happen? Are we gonna have a rumble, Chica? But at least you'd say you have a totally hot girlfriend. So that is my video for this week, and I look forward to seeing everybody else's videos throughout the week. And um, be sure to email us with topics or questions to partyinthecloset at yahoo.com, and we will be sure to get to them next week. So um, hope you have a great day, and talk to you later.